Hey, so I'm about to show you a couple of clips um, with this mini Marshalls haul that I did. I do not shop often. I do not decorate often. Um, it's like I like things to be decorated, but I don't, it's not like a hobby of mine to go search for things. So I, it just takes me a while to get fed up with a space looking empty or sad. And then eventually I'll be like, ah, I need stuff. So that's what happened the other day. And um, these were filmed right before Thanksgiving. So we were having a few family members over that day. So I just really wanted things to not look so sad. So I just ran into Marshall's, got a few things, just thought I would show you my little mini haul. And I would certainly welcome your suggestions or thoughts in the comments if they are kind and constructive, which of course they will be because my community is amazing. So if you're not subscribed already, this is day two of Vlogmas. This is my first year on YouTube and I am participating in Vlogmas, which I may regret later, but I'm gonna do my best. So basically I am posting a video every single day for throughout the entire month of December. I'm hoping to get better at presenting, filming, editing, all the things, just become a better YouTuber in general. Also hopefully build this community and build the number of subscribers here so I would love it if you end up liking something that you see if you would actually hit the like button if you would leave a comment and if you would share the video those are all ways that YouTube will start showing the content to more people because ultimately even though this is a fun video about a Marshall's haul like ultimately the mission is that my work of setting women free um, through wellness starts to find more and more and more hearts and homes to land in so I hope you enjoy my little Marshall's mini haul that I I did before Thanksgiving um, and I would love your feedback in the comments so thank you and enjoy all right I got some fun stuff at Marshall's today I'm gonna show you what I got and then um, I'll show you where it all ends up going first of all I've been wanting quit I've been wanting stemless um, wine glasses and these were four for five ninety nine four for six bucks so I got eight stemless wine glasses and I've been wanting more white, um, just like serving wear and stuff. So I got these for Thanksgiving tomorrow because I'm going to do mashed potatoes in one and Brussels sprouts in the other one. So two awesome, just beautiful white ceramic bowls for $8 a piece. Okay. Um, this is random. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I've just been wanting a litter board. And this was a cute, like, small one. Normally they're a little more. But this one I think was $9.99. Yeah, 10 bucks. I've been wanting that. You'll see that on the gram. Um, I also needed some new fresh like holiday towels in my half bath and our walls are this dark turquoise color. So I was so excited to find like a Christmassy one that'll look decent in the bathroom. And then these white creamy ones will be like our alternative as well. The red ones will have to go in the kitchen because they don't, they probably won't match the bathroom. But anyways, um, this stuff does not really have a home. I just need more like do dad kind of items in our house like it just feels very staged still like there's not a lot of warmth and family photos and stuff so i got this d for dorman to go somewhere these are both fake but and i hate fake plants but these actually i did a double take like i i looked at them hard to make sure i felt like they're real looking fake plants so these i'm gonna go with and then these i thought might work on these honeycomb shelves over there that eric built he made those like a month ago and I still have not 100% decided what goes on them. Right now I just have one little succulent from Trader Joe's. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can make these little tiny photo frames work. Um, and then uh, this says find joy in the journey and I normally don't like cheesy things but this one was, um, I felt like this one was cute and joy is like part of my brand. My sister and I used to have a podcast called Nourish Joy. So I have a lot, people have given me a lot of things that say joy on it over the years. So I like that. I might put that in the bathroom. Um, and then this, um, when we lost our, when we lost our Parker boy um, in July of this year, they did a paw print, a clay paw print of his. Um, and I've been looking for a shadow box to put it in. And so um, this one actually works. So I think, I think that's going to go next to his ashes. And then this is a table runner that I got for $14.99. I love it. It's like gold, it's metallic gold threads with these cool knots on the end. So I love it. Anyways, that, I just felt like my house needed some like lived in items. And I don't do this. I don't spend money very often for like no reason. So I've been needing a few fresh things. I'll show you where they all end up. Well, that's not going to work. 
Boo! It's a Christmas or a Princess Bride movie reference for all of you that are roughly my age. Sad. Measure your table before you impulse buy, friends. Public service announcement. Okay, I'll show you some of the accessories, how they ended up in this half bath. This shelf right here, I've had the darndest time figuring out how to decorate, but anyways, this I'm obsessed with is, I already had this. This is from an Etsy shop that I'll link in the description. So cute. She makes them for all different cities. Um, so I have that up there and a candle and some Bible study books. This is the new D I just got and the Find Joy um, little stack that I just got. And that is a soapstone um, that we got when we were in Africa a couple years ago. So I don't know. It still feels like it needs something. I don't Plants, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then you're going to see me in the mirror in just a second. Um, but over here... Um, I have disposable napkins here because it's COVID, um, but these are gone when it's just us living in the house, and so these are the new towels that I got. So see, the turquoise like matches perfectly. I'm pretty pumped about that. So I got those two like reindeery one. I didn't think that I was gonna like the red and the turquoise, and I'm still not sure I love it. But there is a red center to this peacock painting so I could probably get away with it in here the red one um I was thinking that the red ones in this set would just go in the um, kitchen but then the two cream ones I was going to use in here one says hope and one says peace um so I was just going to do those like I said when it's not when I'm not having um people over here during COVID times because right now we do disposables when people are coming over and then I just, that little black plant over there is new from the Marshalls Hall today. So that's the little vanity area. It looks sad too. I just feel like it needs more stuff, but I'm not trying to clutter it up. So I don't know. Feel free to give me your ideas in the comments. And then this is just a little like side table area. We keep all of our family games in these baskets down here. And this beautiful box right here is actually where we have Parker's ashes. Um, we had him cremated after we said goodbye to him in July. And then, like I said, they gave us, they, the, um, our vet did this clay paw print for us. Um, so I've been looking for a shadow box and that actually ended up being the perfect size. So we have that there and then I don't know, I thought about doing a picture of him as well, but then it felt like a picture, ashes, paw print, like a shrine, it felt a little much. So I think I'm just gonna find other places to put pictures of him, um, maybe in those two little frames that I got. But I love, I do love the paw print, and we've been, I've been looking for a small little shadow box and trying to figure out a way to not break that clay for like four months now. So I'm glad that it finally has a home all right, so I couldn't think of anything cute to put on this board. And for um, Thanksgiving, I just went with thankful for you because every person that ended up coming to our house, I am super thankful for. Um, and I did find a friend of mine sent me her Pinterest board where she pins um, like all these cute and funny sayings. So I have some good fodder for changing it out for future videos. Um, but the... That plant on the right up there, that one is the fake one that I just got from Marshall's. That's a real succulent that I've had um, from Trader Joe's. And like I said, Eric made those little honeycomb shelves. I love them so much. And then these tiny little frames I just got. Um, and we put our Bubba's in there. We miss him so much. I love that photo of him in the park at our favorite park. Just the sun is shining on him. He looks so handsome. And then this one is our little girl dressing him up, and he was such a good sport. That little girl is me. That little girl would be you. <laughs> so I love the way it turned out. I'm putting a hat on him. I know, you were putting a hat on him. I saw it already. Cutie. So I'm pretty pumped about my new accessories. 
Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said in the intro, I will definitely welcome your comments and suggestions and ideas because this stuff is not my forte. And our home just needs to look a little more lived in um, for my taste. So thank you so much for being here. This was day two of Vlogmas. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.